Hello friends and welcome to my channel. So today I will talk about how to read the buckle report and the buckle graph prediction to predict the next result in conclusion. So you know when you go to the casino, most of the time you see this kind of graph and you don't understand what is it and when should you start first? Is it so many graphs, you know like they got five graphs together? So should I read this one first or read this one first or which one first? And what is this one? So this script will answer all the questions that you got in your head, alright? So first of all, if you guys don't subscribe, like or share our video or our channel yet, please do it. You can, sub you can support us by subscribe, like or share the video. You can also watch the ad for a few seconds, maybe like 30 seconds or 1 minute to support our channel. So our channel can produce more good quality video for you guys thanks for your support so let's start with our video today so you now everyone go to the casino go to the background table we got all the same problem we got five graphs and we don't know which graph should i start first which one should i look which one i should all right and what is for what is for and what this for so this could answer all the questions so let's start from my experience what i recommend you is follow this step all right one two three the first one you look on this graph so right so this graph gonna give you like they're gonna put the result from top to the bottom for example like you know like first we talk banger player banger banger player banger they're gonna put the result from top to the bottom this way this direction all right so this graph i will talk about it first after this graph you look on this one and you look on this tree so this tree sometimes some people call it uh, macau graph macau macau prediction or something else up to the people all right so the first graph this one is called the beard road so this graph gonna give you some pattern some kind of pattern so for example in you may get the golden line what is golden line golden line means all the whole line they got all the banger all the whole line is the player for example this one in this case all this line through is the banger so you know what to bet near this hand all right so this hand gonna be banger and someone asked me like is it possible you know like gonna be like this direction or this direction you know it's not only horizontal i would say well the best one the best for this graph what is possible best for you is the horizontal line right this one is trustable if this direction or this direction or whatever maybe for my experience is not reliable right only the horizontal line is reliable so what i recommend you is look on the horizontal line is there any golden line that you can follow or is there any ping pong pattern that you can follow and someone asked me like so when should i bet like this when should i bet so i would say like you wait so you see they one got a pattern right so all the way through you don't bet you wait you wait until this hand all right because you know this hand gonna be player right this hand gonna be player so you wait one two three four four hands you stop betting all right don't bet and you come here bet on player and after that whatever doesn't matter and you start again only bet the line so again i recommend you guys every video i tell you only bet on the hand you sure that you think that you're gonna win on that hand all right don't bet every single hand or don't bet you know like more than you know like 20 hands in a row for me one shoe i recommend you guys to bet only 20 hands per shoe per table all right no more than that if possible maybe 10 hands per table that's it change your table or whatever or the whole night maybe 20 hands the whole night 30 hands for the whole night and recommend you to got some budget as well all right let's come back to this so again for this graph this one the beard rod what you need to look for is is there any pattern like golden line or the ping pong next this graph so this graph what is the benefit of this graph for what you're looking for so what what you need to look for this graph is is there any cut line or is there any ping pong in the pattern 
Someone asked me like, well, we can look for the pattern as well. I would say it's very hard. Most of the time, this one is best used for find the cut line pattern or the ping pong. What is cut line and what is ping pong? So for people who don't uh, don't know about these two two words, you can find this the cut line. How to find a three four cut line on my channel, or you can you know just search on my one form a dealer. All right, this name. Just click on the link and just find on my channel about a cut line about how to predict, how to read, how to um, observe. Is it like cut line three four cut line? And a ping pong for ping pong is easy, you know. Everyone know ping pong, you know, like play a banker, play a banker, play a banker. Everyone know, all right. So again, this graph only use the best way for me, for my experience, only you to find a cut line and a ping pong. So the best cut line, as I said before on my previous clip, like many clips, many clips before, you need to look on a cockroach pick as well to make sure it's the best cut line. It's a uh, reliable cut line, all right. So whatever is three cut line, four cut line, whatever, you have to look on a cockroach peak as well. And the cut line, when should you bet? Someone asked me like, when should I bet then? I know it's got a cut line. So when should I bet? So for example, in this case, you have to wait until they got the cut line. For example, you wait, you don't bet, right? You you just come and sit and have a look and say, like, oh okay, they got a cut line at three every single time. And now, don't, this one don't don't come out yet, alright? Or this one come out is possible, right? You have look like okay, this one cut at three, right? So you are gonna bet on this hand because you know it's not gonna more than three, right? So this one you are gonna bet banger. You know it's gonna be banger. So you bet banger. So if you use this method, you are gonna be a little bit more successful than your usual way, alright? Because I recommend you to don't bet every single hand, just bet the hand you sure. If you think like, okay, this one gonna be banger, then you bet a little bit more than usual, right? For example, if normal you bet like ten dollar, you may increase the bet to twenty, thirty, fifty, a little bit more, yeah. Because you're sure it's gonna be the cut line and gonna make the money, yeah, go for it. But it's not hundred percent. Everything not hundred percent is gambling, alright? So, but but you got a chance to win this one because this one they got a cut line because there's no more than three in this case or sometimes no more than four in some cases and the next one is called Macau in some countries they call this one this three Macau and you have to look this graph this three graph together with this box what this for all right so someone asked me like so they got a three cup. This should I read this one, this one, this one? I would say no. You have to read these three all together with this box. That's the correct way to use this graph. So what the difference between these three graphs? These three these three graphs. Basically, what the difference is the method because you know this one is the prediction graph and how does it work? So they got an AI system, you know the computer AI system. They put the formulation on this AI system. They got three formulas. The three formulas that they put on these three method is different. In the difference in the way that the calculation, the prediction, and this one keep on changing. All right, so don't trust, don't remember this one. It doesn't matter. This one, this one keep on changing. I will teach you this script like how to read it. So basically, what is it? You know like why what is it is this one keep on changing as well and this one keep on up and down and changing and whatever they got some pattern so how to read it first so what you need to do is you look on a graph the first one the donut one all right you say like oh i got a blue donut right you come back to this box and you see what is the blue donut stand for in this case the blue donut is stand for player in this case all right the next hand this one gonna change anyway doesn't matter you just have to look this 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 box the next one you look on this graph you see oh they got a red ball red ball doesn't mean banger you have to look on this graph in this case the red ball is stand for player and the next one you have to look on the dash one or the cockroach pick the red dash what does it mean you have a look on this box 
the red dash is mean banger. So someone asked me like, oh, two crafts a player, one crafts a banger. So should I bet player? I would say no. Don't bet yet. So what you need to do, you need a paper and a pen. You need to collect the data first. So what you do first, you take the pen and the paper and you look, you know, you just need to record 10 hands like which one is the best in this shoe because you know this three cup sometimes it does work on some table but sometimes it doesn't work at all and sometimes only the dash one that work or sometimes only the donut that work that correct or sometimes this one work like most of the time it depends you know but you can say like okay player player banger okay I go for player depend up to you alright this one is no fixed rule you know there's no like you know like you need to do this or do that this one depend on you but for me what i recommend is take a paper and a pen and just record like which one is most reliable and which one is the most accurate predictor and sometimes you say like well it all doesn't work so that means that theory doesn't work that's it you know you don't need to so how many hands so i would i would say like 10 hands minimum 10 hands all right just keep record like which one is the best yeah this one maybe player yeah banger banger and you find okay the dash is the best sometime or the donut is the best sometime you know depends or sometime or sometime with one more case with what you know is this one always wrong some case so what you do you bet against you know you sometimes you find out like some graph is always wrong 100 percent wrong so you just bet against that graph all right you get it so for example if the donut is a player and the result is banger and the next hand is a player again and it's banger again and it's like 10 hands in a row that this one wrong so maybe this one is opposite one so just bet against if this one is a player you had banger for example all right and which one is the best yeah i said already so you need to pay a pair of a pen just a record and find out which one is the best for you best for that table or sometimes these three are not useful at all rubbish all rubbish sometime you know sometimes this one doesn't work at all sometimes you need the first two yeah yeah fire player again yes so brew donut for this case in this case only in this case is player the red ball in this case is player the red dash you have a look at this box red dash is banger see hmm. all right so when should I jump in yes whenever you want so whenever you sure just jump in if you're not sure if you have a look on this three graph and you say like it all rubbish it doesn't work at all so don't jump in only jump in when you're sure like okay this one is the best then you jump in all right or this one is the best and you jump in or this one is always wrong then you jump in why because if this one is always wrong then you bet against this one that's it easy so yeah just repeat again so you go to the table what you need to do first you look on this graph first so this graph doesn't need to be on the top here sometimes it's the, at the bottom sometimes they this at the bottom here this one the chinese one sometimes it, it's the bottom of all the graph all right depends on the casino depends the, you need to look on this one first is there any ping pong or the golden line you have to look on this one is there any ping pong or the um, cut line three or four cut line and then you have to look on this three graph the Macau graph is there which one is the best or is it reliable is it useful or is it just a rubbish just this three all right I hope this video has helped you with your Bakra table and just again if possible you have to bet less than 20 hands in the shoe all right so you jump in a table no more than 20 hands that's it 20 hands is the max and I recommend you to have your budget on that day or that night if you owe a little bit over your budget please stop don't over the budget just try to control yourself so gamble responsibly don't lose your money you know like if you lose a lot already just stop playing go home take a rest come back later on all right and yeah that's the end of the clip if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please subscribe to our channel you can share your video with your friend or family you can have a look about a three four cut line or the ping pong pattern on my channel just search on my channel for Medilla. you can find so many interesting video on my channel 
if you any got any question you can come give me a comment and yeah if you can watch the ad for a few seconds 30 seconds one minute that would be lovely to support our channel thanks so much for today all the best to you guys see you then bye bye